Shall we go run across the bridge now then? Yes! Woogie, woogie, woogie! Hollywood sign, here we come! What's up? My name's Seb, this is the Cam Boom. This is Seb Cam at the Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco. I feel like what a perfect setting to do a little shout out and unboxing. I've got a new box from Sun Warrior. All right then, peeps. Let's check this out. I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I've got to stuff in my belt somehow, but they've totally stocked me up. The collagen, chocolate flavor, chocolate fudge, and then more collagen, which is good because I run out of that quick. It's protein powder, basically. It's collagen building protein powder. The greens, which is one of my favorite ones. That lasts a long time with the mint. These capsules are plant-based collagen, so when I run out of protein powder, I can keep having the capsules. And then this, Omega-3, that's amazing. I feel like I've been looking for a long time for DHA, EPA, a vegan version, it's algae-based. Instead of using fish oil, we're using the algae. These last a long time because it's just pure, amazing greens. This is the chocolate collagen. I'm glad they sent me two because I will rip through that in no time really tasty protein powder and then these are amazing I can show you here what I used to use which is this vegan omega-3 DHEA EPA from algae and it was a liquid so I had to squidge some of this out every time and it's getting low and I was thinking I gotta buy more but replacement this is way more convenient. Just interested to compare the uh, milligrams. Wow, 600 and something milligrams. This only had 100. So this is six times more potent than the stuff I had before anyway. It's so awesome to receive the box with all this written on it. We are committed to making the best plant-based protein, superfood, supplements. Our mission to nourish and transform the plane drives everything we do. Ingredients, it's who we are. Sun Warrior, amazing. It's just cool to receive such an awesome box. Sun Warrior, doing me proud. Woohoo! Golden Gate Bridge unboxing. <laughs> I just thought I'm here anyway. I've got to go post office, so I went straight from the post office to here. Cheers. I might even drink some now. I want to drink some chocolate protein. Where'd you get your protein? You can get 20% off with my discount code. So you just type in SEBCAM. Doesn't matter how you type it, like uppercase, lowercase. Type it however you like, as long as you spell it right, SEBCAM. <laughs> then you can get 20% off stuff in America right now. I think we're working on the England other side of the pond discount code, but how cool is that? You can just say, yeah, I know Sebcam. Sebcam, 20% off. Shout outs, I'll be quick. My PayPal peeps. People who live inside the camera. Scott Marshall, who confuses me by writing his name backwards. Zlashram, which is Marshall, backwards. Seb, it's the money to help you on your amazing journey. You're an inspiration, my friend. Cheers, Marshall. Then, just to make it as if it wasn't confusing enough, we got another Marshall. It's Taylor Marshall. Taylor Marshall. Hey Seb, hope this helps you out on your journey. Taylor Marshall. <laughs> Thank you to all the Marshalls who live inside the camera. Ted T, here's 20 Canadian bucks for your Taco Bell dessert. Beautifully, in the end, I didn't have to buy the Taco Bell dessert because the gorgeous vegan restaurant girl brought me that chocolate Snickers ice cream thing. But I'm sure I spent the 20 on Taco Bell another day. 
Larry, what's up, Larry Smith? Hi, Seb, been watching the live streams. San Francisco, people in motion. We are definitely in motion. It feels good to be on the move again. And thank you so much, Larry, for being so supportive. Leave me now, the moment, don't get all done. Touch the people, cause you can't be free. Touch the people, love now, create, inspire. By doing what you love, please. Chocolatey. It does just taste really good. It tastes like chocolate milk. <laughs> chocolate milkshake. Good stuff. Where'd you get your protein? So I just had two scoops. That's 28 grams of protein. Where'd you get your protein? Perfect. Thank you, Sun Warrior. Thank you. This is vital for all your functioning, like testosterone and DHA, EPA. It's the building block for everything. Omega 3s. Soy free, gluten free, dairy free. I'm just impressed how much stuff is in there, really. Intellectual Warrior, heart health, brain health, vision health. Higher absorption than fish, krill. Motivation is its kind of a strange word because it doesn't really mean what we think it means. We think it means that we're fired up to do something. We think that it means we're eager and passionate to make something happen. And we think that somehow we should just be able to turn on that eagerness and turn on that passion but we can't because you just can't turn on passion you can't just turn on the desire to execute a task so to motivate someone is to explain to them why they're doing what they're doing how it will help them where it'll take them why they should continue to work and to struggle and to fight. Why you are doing what you are doing. Remind yourself that this struggle, this temporary pain, this fight, this fight that you're in, this is what will make you stronger and faster and smarter and better. And then, with that motivation, go forward into the fray, into the storm, into the heat of the battle where victory is formed. What do you do on the days when you're just not feeling it? Those days, those days when I'm tired or worn out or just basically sick of the grind, what do I do on those days? I go anyways. I get it done even if I'm just going through the motions. I go through the motions. I don't really want to work out. I work out. I, I really don't want to hammer on a project. I hammer on the project. Don't really want to get up and get out of bed. Yeah, I get up and get out of bed. Now, these 
could be signals that you need some time off and those signals might be right they could be correct but don't take today off not today wait until tomorrow don't don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear shut that down do not listen to that little voice instead go through the motions I'm just running through this lovely little forest trail off piste and i was thinking people who say oh, i don't really like running what ideas can you give me to get out there my first question would should be where are you running why are you running like where are you going <laughs> I'm just saying, it should be obvious. Think about it. If you're just out running around aimlessly, with no destination or goal in mind, how would you keep running? That would be horrible. Where are you going? Why are you running? <laughs> if you don't know the answer to that, what are you doing out there? If you need to make a destination, just make it up. Doesn't matter what it is, try to get there. Hi. So I'm walking this very classic San Francisco hill with my eye on a Taco Bell and some trees nearby because it's getting cold, the sun's setting over yonder and the wind has got a real chill factor to it chill factor 10 so the only time it's ever warm is if I'm in the sun if I'm in the shade I'm cold so if I add the sun's gonna go down and the wind it's time to find food and shelter I was considering running another eight ten miles and I decided yeah no gonna have freezing cold everything and pack into my hammock late might as well just stop now wasn't I didn't get very far <laughs> I was still in San Francisco but at least I can get up early and get going tomorrow when the sun comes up and it's bright and warm again I think I'm just going to have to spend half the time being cold in the dark. Trey, Clem, buy a slushy on me. Hope you're doing well. Trace dropped in on one of the live streams, bought me a slushy. I'm still going to buy the slushy. I'm uh, trying to find the right place and the right time where I really want one. Pending, slushy pending. Stevenator. Dropped you some greens at paypalsebcam at gmail.com. Hope I did it right. I had to set a PayPal just for you. Stephen Ate is amazing. He made an Instagram just for me. Hi, Seb. My name's Ron Ray, a magician hypnotist from Scotland. This is amazing. I was so excited to hear from Ron. I was like, wow, you have no idea how much I'm actually into hypnosis and magician stuff. One of my favorite people to watch and listen to is Darren Brown. He's awesome been following you for years you're an inspiration it's not much but keep on running and keep on being you that's way cool and awesome that you've been watching for years only just piped up now john davis who's definitely been watching for years sends bananas beans baps burritos or bum wipes whatever you want my friend but it has to begin with a b <laughs> don't ask me why of course i'm kidding you can spend it however you see fit i have pretty much spent it on things that begin with b mostly bananas beans, burritos. Good morning, everybody. My name's Seb. This is the cam. Boom, boom, boom. This is Seb. We slept pretty good. It's pretty sunny, as you can see. It's sunny in my hedge. I'm next to this fence. Can you see the fence? Yeah, it's like a garden fence there. I'll get up and get out and show you. I thought I would be really, 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 really cold. But it wasn't that bad. I just put all my hood up. I 
I've got my under quilt on the hammock, outside of the hammock, like winter mode. And I was all right. It's good news. It's less concerning. My hands were cold last night. Like I, I didn't want to edit. I didn't want to do anything. So I just went to sleep. And I stayed in bed at 6 a.m. I woke up and was like, ooh, it's kind of getting light, but I'm cold. So I've waited now till 8, 9 a.m. And it's proper sunny. And there's no real excuse not to get up. Look at it. It's bright and sunny. As soon as I get in the sun, I'll be warm. Let me show you the amazing little spot I found. Clearly the road is there. And I am here, down this little back fence. So no one can really approach from that way. I had to move a few times along this fence because of barking dogs. <laughs> and uh, find a place that was peaceful. But I was out the wind, that was the main issue. I see on the maps, there's some trees by the beach. Whew, that would be so cold. There was a cold wind blowing last night. It's not really blowing this morning. This underquilt makes all the difference. This is what keeps me warm here. So I've added that for insulation. I was fine. Let's pack up the hammock. Mindy's dad Dean, Mindy and Joe, off of the Mindy and Joe Van Life channel. I was actually on the road to Hannah with Mindy. That's amazing that they were on the road. I'm on the road again. I plan to send you 75 bucks every month while you're on the journey. Or any other cool journey that you vlog. Unless something unforeseen happens to my job. <laughs> so if you need, just say you need the money for the months ahead. If you need money to fly or for food or for any other reason, just let me know. I'll send it early. That's amazing. I've never considered the people who live inside the camera always like it's such a surprise when the money comes. But to actually bank on it, count on it and be like, hey, okay, can I get those few months early? Can I get that now? I need it now. The entertainment value and knowledge I gain from your videos is so worth it to me and I appreciate your hard work to get it out there. I never really thought of it that way, but I have scoured all of the internet and all of the health and fitness and happiness information myself to find what works, right? Either it works or it doesn't work. So I only share with you things I know to work, to be trusted, to be valued that I've done and dusted. So very nice of Dean to point out that the information is that valuable that he wants me to keep on vlogging. <laughs> you have the vision. You believe in the vision. You are sure, positive, that if other people could see your vision, they would be amazed. Bring it to life. And the only way to bring it to life is to work, to grind and toil and sweat and put your life into that vision and make it a reality for the entire world to see. No one is going to create the lifestyle. No one is going to create the future that you want for you. At the end of the day, you can't replace hard work. You have the power to do more than you can ever begin to imagine. Don't underestimate yourself. It's possible, yes. Your dream is possible. Say that to yourself.
every day. It's possible. It's possible. Your why has to be bigger than the storm that's coming, the challenges that comes, because your why will be the roots that when adversity comes, as you're chasing down your dreams and your goals, and they're going to be tough, if you have a good why, no matter what happens, you will not quit because quitting is not an option because you have a why, you have a passion, you have a purpose. You're on a mission to achieve something. I'm looking for somewhere to stop as soon as possible. I don't think I can continue like this. It's not going to be an overnight recovery. I'm not, I don't want to hang around here. I'll have to think this one through. It's not looking good. It looks nice, but the knee's not looking good. At least I'm warm enough. There's lots of places to camp. There's food. There's even friends nearby. That's what I'm thinking. I've got friends I can go to. Now this name I can't really pronounce, so I'm going to do my terrible Seb, Seb English, Seblish, Yvo Bex. <laughs> the name is like Yvonne, like Y V O, and then Bex with an X. Yvo Bex. Hey Seb, love your videos. I'm stuck in the Netherlands, hence the funny name. And your videos are the only thing giving me hope for the future. Would love to do something similar, but by bike. But it's hard with the whole pandemic and the possible passports and stuff. And, but you say that starting is 90%, it's true. The largest part of the battle, the most difficult thing is getting started. It's 90% of the battle right there. So maybe I'm just making excuses. <laughs> Reasons always sound best, and most reasonable for the person making up the excuses. But I love how the law of attraction always helps you out of bad situations, stay believing. I feel like law of attraction helps me out of all situations. It's just highlighted more to you guys when you see something bad, turn around to something good. But law of attraction's always working in all situations, even in the good situations, where it's like, wow, I couldn't have expected this, and I didn't see that coming. I'm wishing I find it within to leave and find a similar life of travel and hammocking real soon. I know it's not a whole lot, but here's a tenant to help you support you with your food along the way. It's lovely to give some strangers once in a while, in it. Yes, it's a good feeling when you're giving. It's completely different to if you were like subscribed to some monthly thing and you had to pay 10, 20, 50, 100 a month or whatever it is. Like, oh no, there's that payment again that Seb's taking every month. Instead of that feeling of it like being extracted from your bank, it's more like up to you to have that sensation of giving, which is gonna make you feel good. Bettina and Arthur. Aloha from Germany. Good use of Hawaiian language there, even though you're in Germany. This is Marie's best friend since they were three years old. Marie's amazing. She's hooked me up with so many of her friends who are now in the audience, and now people who are living inside the camera, and now VIPs. Uh, I can't help but send you a weekend gift. I found out about you after I pleaded with her not to take a male couch surfer. Thanks for not being a psycho. <laughs> and for becoming her friend. You're awesome. And if you're ever near Stuttgart in Germany, please let us know. We have a free guest room, Wi-Fi, power, anytime. Because a friend of Marie is a friend of mine. I would say the same thing. Thank you so much, Bettina, because really uh, a friend of Marie is a friend of mine too so we're all friends here God bless you as you continue your adventure warm regards Bettina and Arthur Boop. that's all the shout outs thank you so much to everybody who lives inside the camera you're all awesome thank you for pushing the button thank you for writing in the comments thank you for sharing the videos thank you for doing all the stuff what you do should we go run across the bridge now then Yes! Woogie, woogie, woogie! Hollywood sign, here we come!
So I'm going to rest in the hammock. But check this out. I got myself a papaya for three ninety nine. But it doesn't seem to matter the size of the papaya. It's still three ninety nine each. So I'm going to eat that. <laughs> it's a beauty. What do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be the president. You're not the only one that wants to be the CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. Tonight, take an exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs> The most entertaining thing about MasterChef is watching the judges taste the food. Ah! But this week, Greg Wallace couldn't get a word in edgeways as John Turow described the same dish for over half an hour. Gentlemen, look at me. Your potato puree is lovely and smooth. I think the sauce is wonderful and rich. It's really soothing. Love the peas with it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's really salty but sweet as if I'm eating Play-Doh.